Tuesday night now and I am just walking back from the gym um, so I was going to film during tonight's session but halfway through the first rep it felt like somebody shot me in the hip and it was like an explosion of pain through my hip and then it went all through my glute and all in my lower back and it just ruined the session and I got slower and slower and slower and yeah it wasn't a great session at all um, I then did my usual of going into the gym afterwards using the cross trainer for a bit to try and loosen everything up and it did uh, still had a little bit of pain on the uh, cross trainer and then I've done my S&C um, which has improved how it feels um, so I'm actually walking now without limping too much but going into the gym man yeah I was in bits so not a great day uh, I'm a bit disappointed but I wouldn't be surprised if it's got something to do with fatigue still being in the legs from Sunday's session because that was a, a big session 17 miles on Sunday oh, not the way I wanted to start week seven at all and I'm a bit gutted because um, English Nationals cross-country champs is this Saturday and I wanted to be in top form for that and I'm not sure I'm going to be so rest day tomorrow needed more than ever uh, I can't wait to get back home now and get in the ice bath because that always sorts um, all this pain out I seem to get in there for five minutes and once I get out I can walk properly so we'll get back do that rest tomorrow and we'll see what Thursday brings Oh. Hmm. Right, Thursday evening, and I had to, uh, get out to do a few miles this morning up to my shop and back because I had some work to do early in the morning and then um, I had a delivery come so I had to get back to collect the delivery and then get back up to my shop to work again and I had a bit of a rush deadline to hit um, so a bit late working tonight so I didn't get down to be in our session but I've just been out for five miles at a sort of steady-ish pace so yeah better than Tuesday not the pain I had on Tuesday so that is good that is really good uh, quite happy about that but yeah still not right um, I've still got tightness and pain just not the pain I had Tuesday because that was horrendous uh, I don't want that again anytime soon thank you very much but yeah that's Thursday done rest day tomorrow ready for Saturday and the England Nationals cross country over at Western Park in Shropshire so, I will see you there. Good morning. It's Saturday. And if you were thinking, that's not Western Park, Brett. That looks like you're running to Parkrun. You would be correct. So, yesterday, we received an email 
from the England cross country champs saying that the champs have been postponed. Oh, so that was a bit gutting. And it was due to the weather, but it wasn't due to the course being bad. It was because. Oh, I forgot this puddle in. Oh. Right, that's my feet muddy this morning. Oh. Uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, so it's not because the course was bad, because that's part of the fun of cross country, but it was because all of the parking had been flooded and all of the parking they'd organised was off-road. Oh. But never mind, parkrun it is. So, let's get down there. So that is parkrun done. Um, I had all that pent up race energy um, from not doing cross country today. So went out a bit quick, but um, yeah, decent. I think I ran 18, 16. So yeah, not bad at all. Um, now I am running back and uh, topping up the mileage for the day and then we will get to work tomorrow I'm not sure whether to get up mega early and do my long run early or do it in the evening because I've got to uh, go to the NEC to a trade show for printing tomorrow um, so I will decide later what I'm going to do at the moment um, evening is looking a bit more promising than early morning but we'll see we'll see but anyway I'm going to get home and I will see you tomorrow Sunday long run is well and truly underway. Um, I'm about five and a quarter miles in and I haven't spoken to camera yet because it is so windy. I'm not sure you would have heard me. So I've spent the last few miles riding that wave between steady and tempo. Um, 
number one, I'm conscious I don't want to go too fast because this is supposed to be a deload week. But on the other hand, number two, I'm conscious that I only did 5k hard yesterday at Parkrun as cross country was cancelled. So rather than the 12k I would have raced, I only raced 5k. So I can probably put a bit more effort in today. So we'll see what happens. We've got quite a way to go yet. So let's get some more miles in the legs. Well, oh, that was all right, that was. Uh, I think I pushed it a little bit on that last mile. But yeah, 16 mile in the bag. And uh, yeah, average pace of 7.10 a mile. So that's like 30 seconds a mile average off target marathon pace. So that's pretty decent seeing as it's a deload week and I didn't want to push it too hard today um yeah not bad at all um I feel quite good as well obviously my glutes been uh, sore for the whole thing but um yeah not too bad I think I found where some of the tightness is as well all in my hip flexor got a proper stretch that out um, I was doing some stretching the other night and uh, did a particular stretch where you lean your knees over to one side and I was like Ooh, yeah there's where the tightness is so I need to get on that and uh, start stretching that out um, but yeah it's been a decent week a bit gutted about cross country I would have uh, loved to have raced the nationals this weekend because I'm not sure if they do rearrange it and put it on a different day um, because we're now getting closer and closer to Manchester I'm not sure I would want to race across country that close to um, to the marathon so yeah a bit gutting but it is what it is it's happened so we work with it quite pleased with um, parkrun though that I did instead of um, cross country I ran for the first mile of parkrun I ran the fastest mile I've done since my injury uh, I ran a 545 so yeah I'm really happy with where my progress is going um, so another solid week um, a bit of a dip down in mileage but that's good because it was a deload week um, so we will start the build again next week but yeah thank you for joining me on this journey and uh, thanks for watching I really do appreciate it and uh, yeah I'll see you next week so cheers guys
Right. Randy Dog. Have a good run. Yeah, man. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.